Hey everybody, welcome to part 4 of my updated AirPods user guide and tutorial, daily user tips and bonus tricks. In this 4 part video series, I'll be going over how to set up your AirPods using iOS 12 and sharing everything you need to know about them, including how to use them with all of your various Apple devices and showing you how to both use and customize them to meet your needs. So stay tuned! The first everyday user question I usually get is, how do I know how much battery is left? There are a few different ways. The first one's not the best, but it does work. It's a light in the case. When you first open your AirPods, the little light in the middle will usually show green, amber, or red. Green means they're charged, amber means less than one full charge remains, and red means there's usually less than 20% left from what I've seen. A better way to check the battery level is through your connected Apple device. On your iPhone, you can go to the Today view and use the battery widget. If it's not there, you can add the battery widget by scrolling to the bottom of the Today view and pressing edit. Now scroll down and locate the battery widget. Once located, press the green plus on the left to add the widget to the Today view. While you're on this screen, you can rearrange the widgets if you like by 3D pressing the lines icon to the right of each line item and dragging the item up or down to match the order they appear in on the Today view. Once the battery widget has been added, every time your AirPods are connected and in use, they will appear in the battery widget. You can also check your battery level by opening your AirPods case beside your iPhone while the AirPods are still in the case, similar to what you did when you set them up in the beginning. This will bring up the battery level screen in the bottom third of the screen. You can also check the battery level of your AirPods on your iPad's Today view, and if it's absent, you can add the battery widget the same as you can on your iPhone. To check the battery level of your AirPods when they're connected to your Apple Watch, first open Control Center by swiping up on the main watch face, and then press the battery option. The AirPods battery status will appear in the bottom quarter of the watch screen. And finally, to check the AirPods battery level while they're connected to your Mac, click the Bluetooth shortcut on the menu bar and scroll down to your AirPods. The battery levels will appear in a pop-up pane that also lets you disconnect them. The AirPods battery level also pops up in some other places, like on your iPhone when you're in the audio output menu in the music app, and also in the control center's audio output menu as well. There may be even more places that information populates as you use them, but these are some of the most convenient ways to check the battery level from your various Apple devices. One of the major complaints most people have about AirPods is the lack of an inline remote. When you use EarPods or even many third-party headphones, there's an inline remote that will let you adjust the volume, play pause, play the next track, or previous track. The EarPods only have the double tap options, and those don't replace the inline remote as well as it could, as you can't really control the volume with them unless you use Siri, which isn't always convenient. An alternate workaround for this issue is to use the now playing complication on your Apple Watch if you have one. I find it's the perfect replacement for an inline remote. You can use this whenever you play music from your iPhone. I usually keep the now playing complication on my watch face so I have easy access. Using this complication on your Apple Watch, you can do everything the inline remote can do. Play pause, next track, previous track, and even control the volume on screen or with the digital crown. You can even add some additional functionality on your Apple Watch by using the music app. You can select music that's saved locally on your watch or peruse the music on your iPhone by playlist, artist, album, or song. I found the now playing complication isn't available on some of the new watch faces on the Series 4, so if that's the case you can still access the now playing complication through the music app. Just open the music app, choose the on iPhone option, and then press now playing. While the Apple Watch is not a mission critical device and isn't required to use AirPods, it really is a nice accessory when you have AirPods or any wireless headphones for that matter. Another issue that comes up sometimes is that once or twice a year, some people report their AirPods connecting to their Apple devices becoming sluggish, or only one AirPod connects to your iPhone instead of both of them. If and when you ever experience these issues, I'd recommend resetting your AirPods. To learn how to do that, you can check out my video, How to Reset Your AirPods. You'd be surprised the issues that resetting them can resolve for you. One other question that I get every so often is where do you double tap on your AirPods? I've heard some people having issues with double tapping their AirPods. They say they double tap them and nothing happens. There was even a time I had a bit of an issue. If you find they don't respond to you enough when you double tap, I find if you double tap the arch of the pole antenna where they connect to the earphone, that seems to respond every time. If after trying to double tap them there, you still have an issue detecting the double tap, try resetting your AirPods. I've had that resolve the issue as well. One other thing people seem to ask me every so often is how to clean your AirPods. You can check out my video, How to Clean Your AirPods, where I go into that more in depth. I'll leave a link in the description below. And lastly, for some additional AirPods tips, I would recommend checking out my AirPods Q&A video, which I'll leave linked in the description below as well. Do you have a new AirPods question I haven't addressed? If so, feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.